Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I draw cozy little things related to autumn. And autumn is my favorite season, which always makes me so inspired. I love drawing leaves, different cups, kettles, all this cute stuff. So if you like it as well, draw along with me or just draw your own little things and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So grab a cup of tea or coffee and let's get started. So I have this Pinterest board with different cozy autumn items that I saved and I'm gonna get inspiration from those. And I've already made a file in Procreate with all the uh, these pictures that I wanted to sketch today. Yeah, actually sketch, not draw, because I'm just gonna sketch with a pencil. And I'm gonna show you my favorite sketching brushes, which I use all the time. And the first one is a free brush, but you have to download it. I will link it in the description. And this is my go-to brush for sketching. I use it almost n like 90% of the time. The next one is a standard Procreate brush under the sketching settings. It's a 6B pencil. I love the texture of it. And the third one is a brush that I bought. I will also link it in the description. I love how it changes the pressure and the line according to how much you press on the pencil. So sometimes I use it as well to create like a depth in my sketches, a sense of depth. And yeah, let's get started. Uh, here I decided to draw this cute little kettle and you can see that I immediately start changing the shape by using the transform tool. I use it a lot. Uh, I think it's very helpful to, if you wanna just change the height or the width of your object, and I also use Liquify tool, you will see it as well. So I'm using Edge 2.0 brush, uh, which I always use for my rough sketches. So here I'm making a rough sketch and then I'm going to refine it later with the 6B pencil brush on a different layer. So in the beginning I will use this brush 2.0 and to sketch roughly. Such thing as time. Now we can go anywhere you want to go. Ooh, there's no place we can go. Ooh, I like how it looks. Uh, I just changed some things with a liquify tool, and I think it looks quite good. And I'm gonna start another sketch on a new layer. I always make new layers for different objects, it's easier. And let's draw this cute little cupcake. not too precise about the cream. I just want to show the main lines. I don't want to draw every single line to indicate the cream. I just want to show the idea uh, so that it's clear what it is. Let's make this kettle a little bit bigger. And on a new layer, ah, and one more thing that I forgot to mention is that I often flip my canvas horizontally to fix some things. Uh, you can see it better when you use 
uh, when you look at your drawing on a flipped canvas. And the third thing I want to draw is this cattle, again, another one. But I love this shape, it's really cute, so let's try to draw it. Take my hand, don't be afraid In the brighter day, they're on their way Next, let's sketch this cute cup. Uh, I couldn't choose which cup I wanted to draw because I saved so many. But yeah, I love this cute rounded shape. Birds in harmony, and you there right next to me. struggling with the handle of the cup but yeah again I used a liquify tool to fix it by your side through days of warmth and by your side like the stars and the moon and the nighttime sky and by your side I'm adding this coffee text on a new layer to fix it uh, separately from the cup and I can use a warp tool to make uh, it look like it's uh, written on the cup and not on a flat surface. Next, let's draw this lamp. I think it looks really cool. It's, it's a little bit more complex because it has more details, but I'm, I'll try to simplify it. I just start with an oval and then I, I don't know, I try to draw some shapes. Not I'm not too precise about it. Uh, I don't want to just draw it super realistically. So I draw what I see and it's not very accurate but if it looks okay, I think it's fine. Through all the storms I'm by your side Through days of warmth I'm by your side Like the stars and the moon and And 
moment I use my favorite liquify tool again, you can see how useful it is, especially when you flip your canvas, you can see how sometimes how your drawing tilts to one side and you can easily fix it with the liquify tool. this other cupcake but I don't want to draw another one I just like this how do you call that this thing that I'm drawing right now uh, I just like how it looks so I decided to add it to my previous cupcake so you can see how to combine two references easily you don't have to draw from one reference you can just take different elements from them and combine Let's draw this piece of apple pie now. It looks really cute, I think. draw some apples inside. I'm not really precise about this or thorough, it's just the idea of apples or some shapes inside. Let's draw a pumpkin. Uh, it's the classic drawing that you have to, to make in an autumn set. Uh, so I just draw an oval and then I try to fill it with this shapes of a pumpkin. Little when the sun goes down We could walk this autumn town Find a place to be alone Look into your eyes Feeling butterflies we could dance under the stars Fall into each other's arms Nowhere else we need to be Just you and me We can lose this love So hold on to what we know we have Hold on to moments that we've shared Hold on, if all we have is just each other Everything will be fine just I'm gonna move it a little bit to have more space Later we're gonna reorganize all of them to make it look better So now let's draw a sweater It's a little bit more difficult, at least for me Because of this folds and soft shapes but let's try. Memories for our hearts to hold will carry till we gray and old. So hold on to what we know we have. Hold on to moments that we've shared. Hold on if all we have is just each other. Everything will be fine Just hold on 
just hold on Let's add this idea of being soft and fluffy just by adding a few lines. You can see how it changes the feel of the sketch. I'm reorganizing the elements here and I want the composition to look balanced, so it takes a while and it's just try and error, so you have to see how it looks. And later we can change it anyway. But I'm gonna make a new layer, I'm gonna merge all the layers together and create a new layer on top and lower the opacity of the previous layer and with a darker color and 6B pencil brush. I'm gonna refine the sketch, so basically go over the lines and draw them more accurately, I would say. Not entirely straight or perfect, but just to make it more defined. I'm not worried about the lines being straight and perfect, because I don't want it to look rigid and boring, so I want to maintain this hand-drawn feel because before I used to be more precise about the lines and I often used quick shape tool in Procreate to make the lines straight or the circles perfect, but I find that it doesn't look so lively when you use these tools, so I prefer to just draw naturally without these tools. And I'm starting to add a few more details here, uh, like this volume of the kettle, and also I'm gonna add some shadows. I wouldn't say like shadows, just some strokes to indicate the shadows and to make the sketches again more lively, uh, to show the shape of this kettle. You can see how the sketch looks more cute and lovely. And I'm gonna do the same with all the other ones. So first refine them and then add some idea of a shadow and highlights. decided to erase those lines and uh, just add a few to indicate the idea of the lines and not necessarily draw all of them. And I add some dots, some cute little dots to make it more fun and show like cinnamon or chocolate topping, something like that.
let's move on to the pumpkin. As you can see, I'm not super precise about the lines, and again, I think it just adds more personality to the sketch. Now let's add some indication of a volume by adding a few strokes here and there. And I will also add a few dots to make it more fun. Now on to the apple pie. My sketch is a little bit messy, but I'm not too worried about it. Again, I don't want to be super precise and it's just a sketch. If I don't like it, I will just not continue coloring it or using it, so it's fine. some strokes, dots, and some lines just to make it, just to add some personality to it. Always add this kind of strokes following the shape of an object so you can see that those strokes follow the shape of a cup and if I just drew them straight they that would look weird and it will make the drawing look pretty flat
This lamp didn't turn out so well, but it's fine, it works for the sketch. It's not... the lines are not straight and it doesn't look so precise, but well, it has some personality to it and I like it. the sketches that I've made. I'm just gonna fix the lamp a little bit but all in all it's ready and what I want to do with them next is make a seamless pattern. Uh, let me know if you would like to see a video about that so I, I would show you how I color the sketches and how I make a seamless pattern out of them. Thank you for watching the video, if you enjoyed it, leave me a comment, give me a like, subscribe and all of this stuff. And yeah, let me know if you would like to see more content about sketching or drawing or making patterns and I'll try to make a video about that. So thank you and see you in the next video.